click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about single phase AC voltage converter with RL load. So friends, we discuss about how an AC voltage converter works with resistive load. In the similar way, let's draw the circuit diagram of AC voltage converter for an R and L load. So friends, let's say this is a this is an AC voltage source. I'm connecting the same source with the primary coil of a transformer and the secondary coil I'm connecting with two thyristor parallelly in the opposite direction with a resistive and an inductive load. Let's say this is R, let's say this is L. Now friends, as we all know, the thyristor allows only the flow of electric current only in one direction. So it will be blocking. So this thyristor T1, let's say this is T2, T1 will be blocking all the negative half cycles. So whenever there is an inductive load, inductor gets charged and again gets discharged. The discharging circuit or during the discharging, T2 will be conducting and it will be providing a path for the discharging of the inductor. Now friends, if I, if I consider this circuit diagram for AC voltage converter for an RL load, we can easily control alpha which is the firing angle or the triggering angle, angle or triggering angle again we can control the output voltage accordingly. Now let's draw the full wave AC voltage controller circuit for an RL load. Let's say this is an AC supply I'm connecting to the primary of a transformer and the secondary of a transformer let's say is connected to four thyristors as I draw in the earlier circuit and I'm connecting a resistive and an inductive load across it. So R with the resistor, L with the inductor. Now friends, this is say T1, T2, T3 and T4. Again friends, we can control the firing angle alpha in such a way that we can notice a change in the output voltage. Again, we can provide a path for the inductive current to discharge during the cycles where the thyristor is not operating or during the discharge cycle. Now friends, as we all can see during the positive half cycles, T1 and T2 conducts and during the negative half cycles, T3 and T4 conducts. So this is the way we can provide a full wave voltage control or a half wave voltage control for a resistive load and for a resistive and inductive load in combination. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to Ikeda and stay tuned with Ikeda. Thank you so much.